What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about one of the new dungeons coming to the Elder Scrolls Online in Update 41, The Oath Sworn Pit. This will be arriving, of course, March the 11th for PC and Mac, and March the 26th for uh, Xbox and PlayStation. It says the Oath Sworn Pit is a training ground for Malakas' most devoted followers, and it has recently been overrun by a mysterious new group of Wood Elves. The God of Curses demands retribution for his fallen warriors, and you and your party have been chosen to act in his name. Uh, this is kind of talking a little bit about this, but without giving away too much. They said they want to let you know, of course, those Wood Elves are there because they're going to be a major part in the next chapter story, but they don't want to give away too much of that story. So um, it says, but recollection, recollection has a lot of schemes and plans that won't be immediately apparent something to look out for in this dungeon. So the way they're kind of setting this up is like always. This dungeon is going to kind of lead up, of course, and the other dungeon that will be out with this update are going to kind of lead up to that gold road chapter but they don't want to give away kind of everything. So it's going to be kind of just hints here and there. It says the group of wood elves who attack the pit play a major part in the next story chapter. But like I said, they're not going to give away too much about exactly what's going on with that. They kind of talk a little bit more uh, in the article about the battle in the lodges. It says saving the oath uh, sworn from, the recolle from recollection is no simple task since any force able to overwhelm Malachi's chosen is a capable uh, of course, is capable indeed. The Oathsworn built their temple and all three of their lodges around an enormous pit. And this is kind of the design of this. There are going to be lodges, and the center of it is going to kind of be a, you know, just a, a pit or a fighting area where they're training in different styles of fighting. Um, and that's kind of where this is going to take place. It says, of course, there will be three new bosses to fight in this dungeon, three new challenging bosses. Kind of the same concept we've had with all the other dungeons in game. But I'm sure, you know, kind of like some of the newer dungeons, we're going to get more mechanics and, you know, of course, a lot more difficulty on veteran. Of course, you get vengeful rewards. They talked a little bit about the rewards you can uh, get with this dungeon. And it says you can, of course, get uh, things like collectibles, achievements, and item sets, uh, many unique to this dungeon. For example, it says complete the Oathsworn Pit on veteran difficulty and you'll earn Malakoth's dropped helmet memento even better complete both oath sworn pit and of course the new bedlam veil the other uh dungeon that will be coming out in update 41 on veteran difficulty and you will receive the blood marks of the malakoth skin so this is something that i like uh, to see really because over the years a lot of people have kind of talked about how the skins that you can get from the store skins and things you can get from the store are better than the rewards you get from beating dungeons on veteran from beating trials on you know veteran things like that i would like to see them start adding some really cool things back to these dungeons and trials and in my opinion that's how you get a lot of people in uh you know in playing this stuff or into playing this stuff is by giving out some really cool rewards of course the god of curse needs you is kind of how it talks about uh you know at the end of the article that uh zoss put out says take up arms against the enemies of malakoth and liberate the oath sworn pit from its wood elf invaders now, of course, we will have all new item sets in this, and I did make a video talking about some of the new item sets a few days back if you have not checked that out. But some of the item sets do look like they will be pretty useful, whether, whether they will be something that everyone uses, if it's going to be meta, if you're looking for, you know, the best setup, I'm not sure about that. But if you like to mess around with the different armor sets, I think some of these may pique a lot of your, uh, a lot of the author's interest. But kind of give me a thought about these dungeons do you like to see these two new dungeons you know of course at the beginning of the year kind of leading up to the gold road story it's something Zoss has done for a really long time but we do have a lot of dungeons and games and some people feel like these dungeons are are not as good as they once were uh, in my opinion i think the dungeons have been hit or miss over time and that's kind of with any game kind of can be expected and hopefully these two new dungeons will be those that are really enjoyable because i felt like some before have this been okay where some before have been absolutely incredible but this one does sound pretty interesting and i'm, I'm going to be very curious to see exactly you know what all comes out of the oath sworn pit and of course with all these achievements and collectibles and, and gear and things like that you never know we might have some secret things hidden in there of course guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and i'll catch you all next time
Peace.